what in the world is going on at Asbury University? Time will tell whether this movement can be sustained or not. This is by Michael Snyder on Collective Spark. Are we actually witnessing a full-blown revival right here in the United States? For more than a week, there's been a non-stop prayer and worship awakening happening at Asbury University in Kentucky. Day and night, thousands of young people are gathering in the chapel to worship God, repent of their sins, and read from the Bible. We have not seen anything like this in a long time, and videos from the awakening are being viewed on social media by millions of people all over the world. Amazingly, at this point, these gatherings have created so much buzz that even the mainstream media is being forced to acknowledge what is going on. For example, the following comes from NBC News report. The growing event started as a routine chapel service at Asbury University, a small Christian college in Wilmore, Kentucky, according to university employees. At the tail end of the meeting, a couple dozen lingering students assembled informally in a gathering that's been going on for seven days straight, 24 hours a day. The first day we had a very ordinary service, I would call it unremarkable, said University President Dr. Kevin Brown. Following a morning service on February 8, a multicultural gospel choir sang on stage. Some students stuck around afterwards, and by evening more and more had trickled into the sanctuary, creating something special, said Brown. Within just a few days, news of the gathering started spreading like wildfire on social media and people started driving to Asbury from all over the country. According to Charisma News, the line to get into the meetings is now nearly half a mile long. The revival at Asbury University is now in its 10th day as thousands of people continue to make a spiritual pilgrimage to this town in hopes of encountering more of God. The revival is now officially in overflow mode with a line of people to get inside stretching nearly a half a mile long. Thankfully, so far the people at Asbury have not allowed outsiders to come in and take control. Instead, what is taking place appears to be quite raw and quite authentic. Nick Hall's account of what he experienced when he visited Asbury was published by Fox News. In an age of sensationalist, sensationalized encounters, What's happening at the Hughes Auditorium is incredibly simple, humble, and ordinary. There is not a single known figure on the platform. It's students leading the way alongside a few campus ministers. It's raw worship, Bible reading, and exhortation, and repentance. Confession broke out numerous times. The crowd could not, uh, would listen and speak out. The blood of Jesus forgives me. The altars were full night and day, wet with tears from young and old. It was multi-ethnic, multi-racial, and multi-generational. What a wonderful thing. In addition to the thousands that get to be there in person, tens of millions have turned in to watch the gatherings in Ashbury on social media. On TikTok and Instagram, videos hashtag Asbury Revival are racking up millions of views. At the time this article was published, the hashtag Asbury Revival had 24.4 million views on TikTok. And it appears that the movement is spreading. There's also some uh, uh, video images of them having bread in front of them. Now, uh, it appears that the movement is spreading. At this point, similar gatherings have erupted at several other Christian universities. Just 249 miles to the south, a revival at Lee University in Cleveland, Tennessee, is well underway. Local news reports indicate the Lee revival has now been ongoing since Monday. The, there are also uh, reports of spontaneous prayer and worship among the students at Cedarville University in Cedarville, Ohio, and at Stanford University in Birmingham, Alabama. In addition, it's being reported on Fox News that thousands of students have been given their giving their lives to Christ at major universities all over the nation. We saw over 2,000 students repent of sin and turn to Jesus last week through events at the University of Georgia, Minnesota, Texas Tech, Wisconsin, Iowa State, and North Dakota State. I've been doing evangelism for 20 years. I was trained by and traveled with both Billy Graham and Louis Palau. These are the highest percentages of responses to the healing, rede redeeming messages of Jesus that I've ever seen. Could this be a revival? 
So will this last? We will see. I think that one troubling sign is that officials at Asbury University have decided to make some really big changes. As the university, Asbury University revival moves into its 10th day on Friday, school officials have announced a more structured schedule beginning Monday. Services will move to an off-campus location starting with the February 24th evening services. One way to kill a spontaneous movement is to start imposing structure on it, and I believe that is a massive mistake to move the gatherings away from the university. The university is where the students are. Time will tell whether this movement can be sustained or not. But for now, let's enjoy the authenticity and the purity of these gatherings while we still can. Views of the article and opinions of the author do not necessarily reflect views of Collective Spark. This is our Collective Spark. And he says, this is finally here. Michael's new book entitled End Times, now available on paper, get pack, and Kindle on Amazon. This is by Michael Snyder. And he says, my name is Michael. My brand new book entitled End Times is now available on Amazon. In addition to my new book, I've written six other books that are available on Amazon, including Seven Year Apocalypse, The Lost Prophecies of the Future of America, The Beginning of the End, and Living a Life That Really Matters. When you purchase any of these books, you help to support the work that I'm doing. And one way that you can really help is by sending copies as gifts to family and friends. Time is short, and I need help getting these warnings into the hands of as many people as possible. I've published thousands of articles on the Economic Life blog, End of the American Dream, and the most important news. And the articles that I publish on those sites are republished on dozens of other prominent websites all over the globe. I always freely and happily allow others to republish my articles on their own websites, but I also ask that they include this about the author section with each article. The material contained in this article is for general information purposes only, and readers should consult licensed professionals before making any legal, business, and financial or health decisions. I encourage you to follow me on social media, Facebook and Twitter, and any way that you can share these articles within others with others is definitely a great help. These are such troubled times, and people need hope. John 3.16 tells us about the hope that God gives, God gives us through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you have not already done so, I strongly urge you to invite Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior today. This is by Michael Snyder. It's on Collective Spark. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.